I'm a 30-year-old office worker. I married my husband, John, a few years ago. A little while later, his little sister went on to college and moved out of the house. Her husband passed away a few years ago, so now his mother was all alone in the house. We didn't want her to feel lonely, so we offered to go live with her. She loved the idea and said yes. Ah, I think we're almost done unpacking. Pam, John, I made us some noodles for lunch. Ah, thank you. It's a Japanese tradition to eat noodles when you move into a new house, right? It goes all the way back to the Edo era. Before noodles, they ate rice cake. Yup, I actually threw a rice cake in there. It's so nice that you guys moved in with me. I'm a lucky woman. Thank you so much for doing this. I liked her a lot and we got along just fine. But then, a few years later, my sister-in-law Blair returned home from college. She had to skip a few years and she finally gave up and dropped out. And Blair, she was trouble. It didn't take long for me to realize that. She started giving me a hard time as soon as she moved back in. She clearly didn't like me. She was always telling me to get lost. To her, I was just an unwanted guest. She always said that I wasn't allowed to use the showers and the toilet. Can you believe her? Oh, she was so annoying. And this one time, she took out all of my shoes from the shoebox for no reason. Sometimes she moved my toothbrush from the sink and put it on my bed. And the other day, while I was cleaning my house... Pam, I can't hear the TV. Keep it down, will you? What's wrong with you? Can't you see that I'm trying to watch TV here? But whenever you're home, you're always here watching TV. So when am I supposed to clean? Are you talking back to me now? You're just a guest here. Don't forget that. Hey, that's enough, Blair. The mother who was out in the hallway heard her yelling and came into the room to defend me. Oh, when are you going to get a job, huh? You're a grown woman now. You have to straighten up. My mother-in-law and my husband were on my side, so it wasn't all that bad. But she never really listened to them. Yeah, yeah, whatever. She just didn't care, I guess. She was out of control. But then, a few months later, she got engaged. Her fiancé was named Bob. He was a year older than me. They say opposites attract each other, and they were a perfect example of that. Blair was a slacker who never did anything, but Bob was a diligent, hard-working man. I was glad she got engaged, because once she moves out, I won't have to worry about her. But then, something terrible happened. Right before Bob and Blair got married, John was in an accident and he passed away. Everything just happened so fast and I couldn't really understand what happened. I was an empty shell of a person. I didn't eat for days. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do anymore. And then at his funeral, Blair said something unbelievable to me. Uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but, um, I think we should talk business. It's best to get these things out of the way. Huh? Now that John's gone, Pam's just a stranger to us. Stranger? Hey, how can you say that? Pam is family. She's not a stranger. Family? <laughs> Give me a break. Are you two related by blood? I don't think so. John was the only reason she was living with you in the first place, Mom. She's just a stranger to us now, and you know it. Stop talking like that. She's family now. You better get that through your head. What do you mean? John's gone now. She's not family anymore. Pam, pack your things and leave. Stop leeching off of us. Get lost. That's enough. She snapped back at her. After that, she didn't say anything. A few hours later, back at the house, I was sitting in the dining room in silence. Pam, here, eat something. You haven't eaten in days. She made me a snack and sat across from me. Look, just to be clear, 
You can stay here for as long as you like. If it's okay with you, I want you to keep living here. But if for some reason you want to move out, I'll respect that. Whatever you decide, I'll accept it. You can stay here for as long as you want until you make up your mind, okay, dear? Thank you. Just know that you'll always be family to me, okay? And here. She took out a bank book. It was John's. I checked the balance and there was more than $200,000 in the account. I found this when I was cleaning his room the other day. I had no idea he had so much money saved up. He said he was saving up some money, but I didn't know it was this much. Anyways, I just thought you should have this. Hey, let me see. How much did he have in there? Blair ran into the room and grabbed the bank book out of my hands. Thousand? Ten thousand? <gasps> Whoa! Two hundred thousand? I didn't know you had this kind of money. Blair, stop it. She took the bank book away from her. Stay out of this. Why? This is inheritance money, right? Then this money belongs to us, Mom. She's just a stranger. You have no idea what you're talking about. Pam was his wife. She has every right to keep that money. And I want Pam to keep everything. Uh, what? No, we're his real family. We can't just give it to her. She's just a stranger. We've been living with him for decades. Oh, stop. Just stop it. Stay out of this. You're making things more complicated for everyone. Uh, no way. This money is ours, and I'm getting married soon. I'll probably have kids too, so I need the money. And what the hell is she still doing here? Leave already! I said stop it! I'm not gonna tell you again. If you speak like that to her again, you're done for it. Do you hear me? Uh, whatever. Blair didn't care. And she turned to me and said, What are you still doing here? Go to your room and start packing. Get out of here and leave my brother's money here. I was going through a lot as it is. If I stay here, I'm going to have to deal with her too. I don't know if I can take that. But maybe she's got a point. Now that he's gone, I don't know if I should keep living here. I want to keep living with my mother-in-law, but I think I should leave. It's for the best. I decided to tell her the next day. But then, before I could do that, something unexpected happened. It changed everything for Blair. The next day, I was cleaning the entrance hall. Then Blair came to me and said, Where's mom? I can't find her anywhere. Oh, uh, she went out. She said she had some errands to run. Oh, damn it. I'm about to go see Bob. I was hoping she'd give me some allowance. And, oh, what are you still doing here? I told you to leave. This isn't your house. I let out a big sigh. Then I said to her, Don't worry. I'll be leaving very soon. Really? All right. Cool, but uh, leave my brother's money here, okay? That money belongs to us. We're his real family. You're just a stranger. You've got no right to keep that money, got it? Come on, I'll help you pack. The bank book is in your room too, right? Come on. And she grabbed my hand and dragged me to my room. Stop, let me go. I tried to escape, but she was too strong for me. But then, I want you gone! My mother-in-law came home just in time. Blair was really surprised to see her. Mom? She was startled. What the hell, Mom? You scared the crap out of me. Where have you been and... Wait, did you just tell me to leave? Yes, pack your things and go! <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I know you're just joking. You're just saying that to scare me. It's not gonna work. Too bad. I'm serious this time. Get out of my house now! 
She meant business. She glared at her in silence. It didn't take long for Blair to realize that she was for real. She started to panic. Then... Wait, hold on. Uh, you're for real right now? Uh, but you're gonna pick her over me? Is that what you're saying? Why? She's a stranger! I'm family! I... You probably don't know this, but do you know who paid off our mortgage? Pam. What? After Dad passed away, I raised you and your brother single-handedly. But it wasn't easy. We were barely making ends meet. You remember that, don't you? And when Pam and John moved in here with me, she offered to pay off the mortgage since she'll be living here from now on. So she has every right to live here. You've got that? What? Oh, fine, fine. She can stay. And I'm moving out soon anyways. But John's money, that still belongs to us. She's not getting a dime. We lived with John for years. She can't just come in and take everything away from us like this. Blair? What the? Bob? Bob showed up out of nowhere. When did he get here? Why are you here? Oh, whatever. I don't need your help. Uh, my mom's trying to kick me out of the house. Can you believe her? Can I come live with you for a while? The marriage is off. What? Why? I warned you about this. I told you that if you ever talked to Pam like this again, you were done for. But you just kept going. So I called him here myself to show him what a horrible person you are. I was going to explain everything to him myself, but you saved me a lot of time. Yeah, I think I've heard enough. I'm relieved, though. I'm glad I found this out before it was too late. I can't believe I actually thought about marrying her. Thank you so much for telling me. What? Mom, what the hell? How can you do this to your own daughter? You're not my daughter anymore. Huh? Pam's the only daughter I've got. I don't care if you're related to me by blood. Get lost. Being related by blood doesn't mean anything. It's not that simple, okay? Go on. Get your things and leave. You're on your own from now on. I'm done taking care of you. Then she grabbed all of her shoes out of the shoebox and threw it outside. No, please stop. She started crying, begging her for mercy. Bob, help me, please. I can't live on my own. Why are you telling me this? Huh? You're just a stranger to me now. Then he bowed to us and left the house. No! Blair was devastated. She couldn't stop crying. After that, she finally gave up and left the house. She asked some of her friends if she could crash with them for a while, but right after Bob left, he told all her friends about what happened, including the horrible things she said to me. So nobody was willing to help her. All of her friends left her, so now she was all alone. She had no savings, so she had nowhere else to go. Desperate, she turned to social media. She met this guy online, and he said she could stay with him for a while, but... He tricked her and made her a joint guarantor for a loan. A few weeks after that, the guy she met online got arrested for fraud. So now she had to pay the loan sharks herself. There was no way she could pay off the debts, so they put her to work at some factory in the middle of nowhere. Not sure how long it's going to take for her to pay off her debt, but mm, oh well. Sometimes she wrote to her mother, begging her for help, but she never read them. She always threw out the envelopes before opening them. As for me, things were finally back to normal. And after the incident, our bond was even stronger now. Hey, I'm home! Welcome home, dear. They were having a sale on eggs today, so I made you a special omelette. Oh, thank you! Looks delicious! Oh, uh, I found this in the mailbox. I think it's from her. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I guess you won't be reading it. I'm really sorry for what she did to you. Well, don't apologize. It's not your fault. 
you always defended me. I'm really grateful for that. I knew I spoiled her. I failed her as a mother. But I didn't think it was this bad, you know? I'm so ashamed of myself. I should have done a better job as her mother. Well, anyways, she got what she deserved. I sure hope she learns her lesson this time. Yeah, I think you made the right decision. Well, come on. Let's eat before the food gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!